Hi, welcome to another FSD Quick Bits video. This is the second one in version 10 of FSD Beta version 10 and 10.01, which we just received earlier today as a surprise, I think, to every one of us. So I'm going to include a couple of clips of version 10.01 as well. A special greet to all of all Schweizer Zuschauer in my time Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. So in this video, I'm going to show a couple of categories of observations, some things where I clearly see improvements with version 10 now that I have used it a couple of more days and areas where it still makes mistake, where still it needs to be improved. And we're going to start with an improved area. So overall, the smoothness and the natural behavior really has improved. And now we see this as an example here on this four way stop, right? So we're coming here to a stop, the car to in the front uh, goes, the car to the right goes. And in earlier versions, we would have waited, but now see, we are leaving before that white car has actually cleared the intersection. This is so much better uh, for several reasons. One, it just feels more natural. And secondly, it does not confuse other drivers as much because in previous versions, we would have been waiting and other drivers waiting for their turn might have interpreted the hesitation of my car as I'm not ready to go yet. The next clip shows a similar behavior. The car here, again at the stop sign, it is not waiting for the cross traffic to completely clear our path. It starts going when it's actually safe to go, just as a human would do that as well. So this is really feeling much more natural in this version 10 and also 10.01. Again, those two versions are quite similar. I haven't seen big differences yet between the two. Next category is the improved confidence. In this scenario, we have a green light turning right. There is two cars in the intersection still, and you see my car is making the right turn as well, confidently, but then the black SUV is kind of pulling ahead, and we don't stop or, um, or, or brake hard for it. It just slows down, lets the car pass, and then goes. So this is really a much more confident way of driving. Now there's also a little bit of downside. So here we have a right turn, the car aggressively still accelerates, but there are stopped cars on the other side after the turn. So the car probably would have stopped. It would have been a kind of a hard braking and I therefore took over. So there is kind of also downsides to this more uh, confident behavior. And I think fine tuning when to apply the right amount of assertiveness, aggressiveness is gonna be um, something that needs to be done in future releases as well. The next category which I found interesting is this spatial awareness. You can see here we are coming up to a biker on the right hand side bike lane and the car is going around this biker. So it's crossing the yellow line, going around in a safe way and then it goes back into its lane and then you can see here it swerves to the left again but the biker at the same time goes to the, to the left and the car immediately um, removes the space to the right, goes back to its uh, its own lane and lets the biker pass on the left. So I think this is an interesting example of how the car is really aware of what's going on around it and it can um, adjust its behavior in a very natural human-like way. So that was great to see. Coming up next is an interesting scenario with a good and a bad decision. This is a, a stop where I have to turn left but I have to cross the first lane which is a one-way lane only. So I have to make it uh, obey traffic to the left, have to make it into that median where there is another stop sign. And that's exactly what the car is doing. So it sees there is nothing coming from the left, goes into the median, stops. And then there is actually another car coming from behind, stopping to my right. And now my car decides it's clear to the right, which is actually not. At least it felt like it would go. And you can see there is a blue car, there's another black car coming. It wasn't clear to the right. So that's a mistake. And I have seen similar mistakes still present also in version 10.01, where the car doesn't feel like it would give way to these cars. It, maybe it would, but the way it's behaving, it doesn't really generate a lot of confidence that it doesn't. And that's why I intervene. Here we have a similar scenario coming up. This is a turn on red, which is okay here and the car is waiting, it's creeping here, it's actually a uh, building to the left so we cannot really see, it's creeping some more and here it feels like it's accelerating into the street and there's actually this yellow Volvo coming from the left and the, 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 <laughs> the Volvo had to brake, this, this truck had to brake so it's totally possible that the car would have stopped as well um, but I think, you know, this is something that even if it's safe, you know, you cannot kind of scare other drivers 
um, and the driver in the car, in this case me. Um, so, you know, it either has to stop earlier or communicate its, its intentions a little bit better, which I believe is kind of important if you want to create that trust that is necessary. We're just going to stay in this clip. By the way, this one is from 10.01, and this is an issue which is still persistent in uh, this version and also in previous versions. It's gotten a little bit better, but it is about going or not going around stop traffic in front. So here we're waiting for a red light. There's a couple of cars in front of us, and as long as the car in front of me is not moving, everything's fine. Now you will see the car in front of me moves up a little bit, and that's when my car, FSD Beta, decides that it wants to try to go around it. And it's about right here, so you can see the tentacle, the path planner, starting to go around. And actually, you know, the car is starting to go around, and I stop it here. We would end up in the left turn only lane, and I would have to squeeze back in. Now, this is not a very safety critical issue from my perspective, because worst case, if we cannot make it back into the right lane, we could just do um, a, a detour and the navigation would reroute and we would eventually be coming back. So I don't see this as to be a safety critical issue, but it's something that happens every uh, now and then still, and it's obviously quite um, annoying. Next category is lane changes and merging scenarios. So here I'm showing a couple of clips. This is an on-ramp on, -ramp on uh, one day where there is not too much traffic on the highway. And you can see here, I'm accelerating and the car signals to the left here. You can see I'm just adding a little pause here and then it cancels it. And the reason why it's canceling it is because there is a car coming. So it lets that car pass, it's com it comes at a faster speed. And as soon as the car has passed, it turns on the blinker again and we merge onto the highway. So this is actually great. And you know, even the blinker usage here is perfect. So you don't leave the blinker on. We turn it off, wait until the lane change really can happen, and then you turn it back on. Similar or same situation here with the same uh, ramp, but more traffic. So again, I'm waiting on the ramp. I have to turn left to merge onto the highway. And now there is a car, a truck in the back. My car accelerates, gets in front of that truck, and now changes lanes and does that quite confidently and quickly. So again, searching the gap, going for it when it's uh, clear to go, that's actually perfect. Really two very nice examples on the same spot in different traffic scenarios. Next scenario is in, on 10.01. We're coming up to a red light and there is a couple of cars waiting. So my car just basically sees that, decides to go into the left lane passes that stop traffic and that's you know basically how I would have done it how a human driver can do it it's not necessary you could also stop behind and wait but I didn't have to turn um, right anytime soon so that was actually the perfect and correct decision and one more example of the same spot but in two different traffic uh, situations this is my spot here where I usually in the past used to have problems with the lane selection, it still is somewhat hesitant, but it actually does it. And now you can see it turns into the right lane immediately using the blinker and everything because there is no traffic in the right lane uh, next to me. So the same scenario, the same spot with more traffic. You can see here to the right, there is a car in the other lane and the car quickly flashes the message that it wants to change lanes, but then immediately decides not to. Um, let's that car pass. I actually had this max speed set a little bit low, so I cranked that up. It's now passing, and in front, you know, it looks like it's trying to go in front of the other car, but now traffic is coming to uh, a slowdown and actually to a stop in front of that red light. So I'm going to speed up here a little bit because there's still some time until we can make the lane switch to the right, which we have to do to get on the ramp later on. Now here you can see we have passed that car on the right and now the car decides there is a gap. The car, the white car in front on the right lane is actually turning right. 
we're smoothly getting behind it and it doesn't you know break or panic break it just smoothly lets that car turn and then continues so that's what i have for this video kind of a summary of an almost first week with fsd beta 10 some of the improvements which are visible some of the issues which are still present which still need to be worked on i hope you enjoyed all of these little clips you saw something new and if you're interested in getting more details on 10.01 as they come up well i drive a little bit more on that version please consider subscribing hit that bell so you get notification when there's a new video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye